behind the camera today. He's filming and we're here with Greg from Grand Design. He's a product line manager and he's gonna give us a walkthrough of their new Transcend Explore. So I will uh, just let you dive right in, but thanks okay. again for giving us this walkthrough. Yes, no problem. We'll start up front uh, here. And uh, one of the cool uh, features on this, the jack, you got a hand jack, you flip this handle over, you can use the uh, sta uh, stabilizer jack tool that we supply, and you can ha hand crank it down or up, or you can use your electric drill for this. Uh, so it's the quick drop tongue jack. Uh, that's a really cool feature. And next up, uh, we have Huge pass-through storage in here. Uh, motion sensor lights on both sides. Um, the doors are the same size on both sides and they're both magnetic. I wanna quickly pause, because you, you're you used to them, but the motion sensor lights on all of these, are they on all of? Yeah, yeah. yeah we have in pass-through storage and right when you walk in. Yeah, so. they're so cool. We've been obviously doing a lot of walkthroughs and checking out other RVs, but that <laughs> continuously, like those little innovations are really cool. So, I mean, maybe we could get some for our solitude, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so another cool thing, um, when we do a double entrance, we do uh, triple steps, big swing out grab handle, and then the second door, both of our entrance doors are gonna be the friction hinge. So we don't have to have the plastic clip there that can break anymore. Or, mm. Uh, but it's just a, like some of the different brands, they'll have a single or a double step and then a little plastic handle. Yeah. But we just you know give you the big handle and everything on both of them, the triple steps and, and yeah. friction hinge door on everything, so. Uh, Normally I also hate steps like this, but I was really surprised when we went to walk into the rig, I didn't really even notice they were the pull out steps. Because yeah. we're pampered with our fold out yes. steps. Well, the, so, the, some of the reason why it's solid is we put uh, 30 inch stabilizer jacks at 5,000 pounds a piece. Oh. So it's an upgraded stabilizer jack, um, you know, on this where most of the time you get like a 2,400 or 24 inch and uh, 2,500 pound jack. So a little bit stronger yeah. uh, to, you know, help the coach stabilize a little bit more. So cool. Yeah. All right. Um, so a couple <laughs> of the next things are uh, we do heated and closed underbelly on here, 62 gallons of fresh water. Okay. Um, so a lot of capacity there. Um, and then almost every single floor plan, there's one floor plan, um, but that doesn't have this, but we have the gravity fill on, on this side. And then we have the utility center. At, so you have two places to fill your fresh water. Okay. Um, so that's a cool feature when you back in or you pull up somewhere to fill up, you don't yeah. have to worry about the side okay. uh, that it's on. So um, another cool thing back here is even more pass through storage and it has the magnet door catches as well. Um, to hold up the door, no plastic clips that can break. And then we did uh, a, a panel here for your winterization, but if this is full, you can winterize your unit through the bunk um, up top that we cut the panel in there so you can lift up. So you have dual access to winterization so you don't have to un or pull everything out. Yeah, okay, so. <clears throat> cool. Um, and then I do notice there's no ladder yes. out here. <laughs> uh, every uh, Explore is uh, gonna be prepped uh, with backing in there for uh, a, a rear ladder that the dealership can put on. And then we do PVC roof on here, which will help with the, uh, eliminates the black streaking, uh, no rubber roof conditioner, Dawn dish soap, nylon brush to clean it, and uh, full uh, walk-on, slide room boxes are walk-on, and snow load. So you're gonna have to go up there and shovel anything off or anything. Okay. So but get up there and be able to maintain your seals and everything, so. Cool, and then yeah. before we go inside, I did want to ask you to elaborate on the exterior sliding because people are seeing that we're here in real time on Instagram. So this rig was requested, but someone did reach out and want to elaborate on the exterior sliding because yes. they got this and they wanted to know how to wash it and why it looked oh. matte when they're yep. used to seeing glossy Yep. Uh, so we wanted ours to uh, one be unique and different, and so we gave it a uh, the, the matte finish and a texturized finish as well, and that just uh, gives it a different look, a stronger uh, finish on mm -hmm. there. So it helped uh, strengthen the, uh, the the metal on the sides. So for a transcend, we have 040 metal up front, and that's about 50% thicker than what the competition uses on theirs, and then uh, 030 on the sides for a normal transcend. 
um, and that's gonna be about 25% thicker and just a flat metal give it a different unique look mm -hmm. and something that you know kind of stands out from everybody else yeah and then on the explorer we do 030 metal thickness on the front and 024 on the sides okay um, and then just with the tough coat finish and, and all that on there uh, but we recommend a uh, like a wash and wax like soap rather than like a, a, a paste or anything like that because it is a matte finish and the paste won't like stick into it right. or it will stick into it right um, where the wash and wax will uh, just you know nylon brush and some soap and that and you'll be good cool all right well let's go inside or did right. i miss anything we no good? Okay. we're good cool. all right so this is actually a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be i wasn't expecting a slide in this rig for yep. some reason but which floor model are we looking at uh, so we're uh, in the uh 265 bh uh explore it's uh 32 foot 9 inches long 6200 pounds um, and we designed this floor plan so that like most of the time the bunks are right here the bathrooms mm -hmm. over there on the back wall but we wanted something that would give the you know a huge bathroom mm -hmm. double entrance uh, while traveling you still have access to your refrigerator you can still come in the front door to use the bathroom oh. and um, we, at night you can shut that door you can shut this door and then the mom and dad can use the bathroom or you know be outside and not have to come in the rear entrance yeah. so it's just a different uh different play on the floor plan and yeah just trying to be different and unique yeah well i like it so the bunks back here are a little bit bigger than what you would normally get we hear a lot of people saying that they got a tall son or daughter or somebody so these are a little bit longer a little bit wider than what you'd normally get in a double over double bunk um, this is a real wood um, like safety bunk rail to make it look residential yeah. um, and give it a nice uh, like clean look and feel on there and as well as uh, to uh, protect the kids. Yes. Um, all the windows open. Uh, th this one is our only floor plan or we have two floor plans, the 30 MKS Transcend and this floor plan that we put that window in there. Uh, all of our other windows open, our bunk room windows open. Uh, and they're tinted as well. Like here in the living area, you got the nice cross ventilation, mm -hmm. and then we add the power roof fence in there. You'll always get two to three in every floor plan. Mm -hmm. um, so that's uh, a nice little feature on there. Um, shoe storage underneath here. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, and then this will fold, it's a jackknife sofa that'll fold down into a bed as well. Oh, wow. Um, so you got the extra sleeping space there. Uh, you got the U-shaped dinette over here that will break down into a bed as well. Okay. And you can get triple theater seating as an option in there because your TV oh. viewing area is going to be right there. So Okay. Um, oh, so instead of the U-shaped dinette, you can get triple theater yes. seating. Okay, yep. that's cool. Yep. Um, another like cool feature that we do is the amount of lights and recepts, USB plugs. You got USB and power right by the bunk area plus right here. You got a power plug underneath the dinette, or yeah, underneath the dinette. You got two in the kitchen area, two on both sides of the bed, plus a USB and uh, power in the uh, in the bathroom. Yes, I do have to comment on the power because we were finding outlets like six months even after <laughs> buying our unit and light switches. You guys really, there's nowhere in the RV that we've sat down and been frustrated that we can't plug in. So. Yeah, and the other cool thing that we do is we don't run uh our, all of our power outlets to one or two circuits we run them all like to different individual circuits so that you, you don't have you can toaster keurig and you're not blowing fuses and all that stuff so yeah um that's another cool feature with the amount of uh, recepts that we put in through all of grand design product that oh, okay. they all run to separate circuits and stuff so you won't blow uh fuses and I know that's that can cool. be aggravating. So. I know, totally. That's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. And then, well, what size is this fridge? Six cubic foot fridge and all explores. Um, the two bed slide models in Transcend are eight cube fridges. Okay. So just with the bed slides, we decided to do a little bit bigger of a fridge in there. Um, the smaller ones, we do the six cube. Cool. The stove, we got the glass uh, glass cooktop here to give you even more countertop space than what you have uh, in and other models and then we do the metal faucet um the stainless steel sink yes. um and you know some people are always like you're gonna waste water and all that but you can fit crock pots in there you can fit the plates in there yeah. um so it's much bigger and we went to that based off the customer feedback and and uh you know wanting that bigger sink to fit 
griddles and skillets and stuff like that in too, so. Totally. And then you come through here to this nice big bathroom um, mm -hmm. in the, in a bunkhouse that you normally don't get this much countertop space and kind of storage area. You got a linen closet over there, um, dual entrances to just make the whole unit feel more open. Um, and then up here in the front bedroom, 60 by 80 queen bed. Um, so your residential sheets and all that stuff will fit on there. You got gas struts underneath the bed and um, wardrobes both sides as well. And then you got extra entrance, a light here for your ceiling lights. And then we have another light up here and the, uh, the roof vent for airflow and ventilation and everything. All right, we want to leave out the second yep. door. <laughs> I love that this unit has two doors. All right, so that was your walkthrough. If you are interested in this rig, can people get this Yes, yet? Yeah, okay. we just started shipping them uh, two weeks ago. We have four floor plans. Uh, they're all on our website now. Okay. Uh, pictures, uh, I believe 360s are on there too. So nice. this should be able to go there, check it out and uh, see it and then start looking for them at your local dealers. Cool. All right, well, let us know if you have any questions about this rig in the comments down below, and then I will probably harass you to get those answered. Yes, no problem. Um, but don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang so you don't miss any future fun walkthroughs like this. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.